we have our uh, Austrian M95 carbine, the one I had that's like in mint condition, and the original 8x80 millimeter. And so we're going to go out here. A lot of people just take the 8x56 bullet, put it on an 8x80 millimeter case, and we're going to give it a try. This particular gun had some issues with the magazine spring, and I probably, when I went to test it, that's why I figured the short bullets wouldn't work. So, we're out here. We're going to see if it works, because there's several people out there that shoot the old Steyr uh, 1888s and that, and that's what they use, and a lot of people told me that's all they do is put the 208 grain bullet on there. So we're going to see how it works, functioning in there. I had to replace the uh, mag spring. Now we got the 300 stretch sight. We're at 50 yards. And all I'm going to try to do is test function and accuracy. And I kind of got an idea of where this is shooting. So, yeah, right there. Okay. I don't know what that was. Yep. For some reason, this thing don't want to pick up. Out of the magazine. I don't know why. All right, we'll just shoot them single shot. Okay, why this gun won't feed from a standard magazine, I'm not quite sure. It's like it doesn't rise up enough to catch the cartridge. So I got the single shot uh, polymer adapter and we're just going to try to get some rounds down, see if I'm going in the right direction with the ammo. The gun obviously needs work and I have to look into it, but like I said, this is a mint bore. I measured it and, that, and it's probably why they didn't shoot it. There's something wrong with it or it don't work right. It's probably how it ended up like that. Well, let's see what we got. One more. We're stout shooting little gun. All right, let's go take a look. Well, that's not too bad. Okay, one, two, pretty close, three, four. The recoil on that sucker is pretty good, but that's not too bad. I brought the rifle along too. You may try shooting that up there, get some other uh, hits. So yeah, let's leave this one here. This one we got pretty well covered up. We'll shoot a few more there, compare what we get, and then maybe we'll take the rifle out here. All right. All right, I got two more that I'm gonna shoot in the carbine. Then I got 10 rounds I'm gonna do in a long rifle. And so far this stuff is really accurate. Okay, it's, I'm pleased with it. You know, you 
you gotta screw around with the damn sights for stuff, but I'm gonna try to put two in that second target. That's a little stout. So we'll see if they work in the rifle, but we'll go down and take a look at what we got. We got both in the diamond. Outstanding. So that load's working well. We're going to test functionality with uh, the long rifle. Maybe we'll just sight it in right here, one or two, or maybe down here. Uh, I'm not quite sure. But it's looking good. Uh, we're going to see if it cycles through in action well. Obviously there's something wrong with the carbine and that's why I probably stayed in mint condition all these years. Alrighty. Alright, I got the long rifle out. 300 yard sights. We're going to see if it cycles with the magazine, which it appears to do. I fired a sighter. Can't, can't see where it came from. So let's just see if we could cycle a couple mags. And I'll try to get an idea of where we're hitting here. Yeah, this magazine might be hosed up too. Alright, I got five more. Let's see where we hit. Let's see the performance of the bullet. It does cycle through. Okay, so I admit that. It must have been when I tried doing that with that other carbine. I had all kinds of issues and I thought it was the bullet length. Well, it wasn't. It's the rifle. Okay, this is kind of bizarre. I'm aiming right here. 300 shrimp and all of this came in low uh, Down there one two three four that that's when I took that cider. I was aiming at this. I must have missed the whole backstop all right, so Maybe we'll flip it to the 500 just aim dead center and plug away But that's what we got so far Not exactly stunning, but it is working uh, well, there should be no problem as long as the case length and the bullet jump is right because all he did was uh, All he did was rechamber them to make them uh, 8 by 50 to 56 so that bullet should work fine in these rifles All right, we got five more So let's see what we can do Okay, so where are we at revisiting the 8 by 50? While loading the short bullet, making them an inch and a quarter shorter, they will function and try change the clip too. Let's see. Well, it functions in the long rifle, but didn't function well in the carbine. So that's an issue with the carbine. As with all mill surplus guns, even though it's the same gun, same style gun, each one acts differently. Now, what's happening is I've been shooting and I'm shooting low using the 300 strip sight. So I'm going to go to the five, aim to the middle of the conglomeration and see where the bullets fly. Put it through that.
So yes, feeding is fine. Now this one ain't picking them up. This is that time. The clips, when they get back, they're only supposed to be used once, not a hundred times like they are. That one didn't pick it up either. pick that last one up. Okay, I got the last one in the chamber. The clip, it doesn't want to come out, so it's got to be back or screwed up or something. That's why I wouldn't feed. Yeah. All right. Let's see how we did accuracy-wise. Okay. Aiming with the 500 Schritt sight, trying to drop it low. All five of them shot low. But that's a group we got out of that barrel, and that barrel isn't pristine or new. It is it does have some wear, but the rifling sound. But right there, all five of them. That's a nice group. So it looks like we got a load and a way to expedite our 8x50 rounds. It's pretty simple. And any of you out there, once you get the brass and some sort of die, you can, you know, you can get the brass at uh, Buffalo uh, Armory. And if you watch uh, Texas Cast and Blast, he's got some way of loading his stuff, neck sizing it without. Uh, having to get CH4D dies like I have. So that might tell you fellas maybe you should check out those other channels and get some free reloading info. Alright. Okay, 8550R. Um, ended up doing, whipping up some ammo using the shorter bullet. I ended up with cartridges that were an inch and a quarter shorter than what an 8x50 uh, round should be. Now a lot of people do this, it's a simple solution. Back years ago when I got this gun, I tried it and could not get it to feed. So I thought something was wrong, that the short bullet was the problem why this gun wouldn't feed. This gun still doesn't feed anything, okay? I don't know if it's the length of the bullet. I should go and get my 8x50 cartridges and see if they will feed through this weapon. Um, but for some reason, I don't know if it's a weak spring or something, this carbine won't feed the rounds. So I went single shot and the ammunition is accurate. It's the same load I use in 8x56 for that bullet. And it come out, as you've seen in the video, the results are fairly good. Which is a simple, easy way, because there is no replacement bullet for the original bullet. The weird thing is, the carbine shot high, and the long rifle, and the long rifle fed three, four of the rounds. It's like the last two rounds were doing the same thing. They weren't getting caught, the last one wouldn't pick up. So I don't know if it's just over a hundred years in that that these uh, magazine lever springs are just too weak and the cartridge will actually shift down when the bolt hits it instead of stripping it up. Are the clips bent the wrong way? Some of them I got are all painted black so that meant they were in a pile of rust, got sandblasted, repainted black, 
I have to see if I can find some clips that work. Any M95s, yes. The clips are touchy. You could get some clips that are just bent or stretched a certain way that won't work worth a damn. Okay, that's just one of the weak points of this rifle. But this gun is shot low. So I have no idea. You know, one they shot high, one they shot low. So we made a breakthrough, um, and I will tell you how I loaded it if you're a member. I'll make a video. I'll explain how to make the brass and how to load them up. And you can go that route. They work somewhat fairly well. They're accurate. Okay, there should be no problem. It's just the length is off a bit. Um, so we'll go forward with that. If I go and get a cast bullet and try to get like a torpedo style bullet, uh, I don't know. But for now, we'll work on this first and I have to overhaul these guns and see what the problem is or why they won't feed. Um, and check that out. Alright, but so stay tuned. That'll be coming up. I have a lot to do, but when I get around to making some more of this ammo to shoot with, uh, you know, problem is getting the bullets now. I have some, but I don't have an awful lot. So the testing went well. I'll do a thing, show you how to load it. You can try it yourself. And maybe it'll work for you and be kind of hassle-free. All right, guys. You know, hit the like button, subscribe, and stay tuned.